Today we're learning about Coggle, which is a really great collaborative graphic organizer. You're going to get to Coggle by going to Coggle, C-O-G-G-L-E dot I-T. The great thing about Coggle is you can sign up using a Google account so our students can use their My Panthers username and password, which they already have. They're going to click on sign up and they'll be able to log in with their My Panthers email address and their My Panthers password. This is the Coggle dashboard. When I'm ready to create my first graphic organizer, I'm going to hit create. Coggle starts by putting one coggle or bubble in the middle of my screen. On my iPad I'm going to zoom in otherwise it's going to be really small. From here I'm going to double click so that I can rename that coggle. Let's say I'm making a mind map about animals. I can go ahead and enter that. Now coggle works like a mind map so if I click on that middle coggle you'll notice that there's a plus on either side. If I hit a plus on the left, I'll get another bubble to the left. If I hit it on the right, I'll get one to the right. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's say, what's another type of animal? We could say um, mammals. Then I'll go back to that original bubble and add another one. And we could have one for, say, reptiles. Or maybe I can add another one for fish. Pretty basic. I can grab my coggles and move them around by grabbing the word and dragging them wherever I'd like them to go. And as you might imagine, I can also click on that word and add another one off of it. So for mammals, I might say a zebra. I can go back and add another one and say a, a human. One of the adjustable features of Coggle is to click right around this area near the word on the line to adjust the color. So for example, if I want this line to be purple, I can change that to be purple. If at any point I want to erase something, I can click that word and I can hit the minus sign instead of hitting a plus. As you can see, Coggle has the potential to make some really awesome mind maps, but there's also a lot more. One of my favorite features of Coggle is that I can share my Coggle with a classmate and we can work on it together at the same time, just like Google Docs. Now you'll notice there's a share button up here. What I've found is that it doesn't work that great on the iPad. Instead, I would encourage you to click the back button and this saves automatically. And if at first you don't actually see the Coggle you just made, go ahead and hit the refresh button and you'll see your Coggle down below. Okay, so now in order to share this Coggle with a classmate so we can work on it at the same time, over along the right hand side I'm going to press and I'm going to see um, like these little guys, these two little guys. If I click on them, it will bring up a screen where I can put in my friend's My Panthers email address. When I enter that, it's going to share the Coggle with them so that when they log in, they can work on the same Coggle at the same time. Another really great thing about Coggle is it's going to share all of the Coggles I've created so that I can log back into them and work on them another time. I can add to them, I can subtract from them, I can adjust them, but they're going to stay there forever until I choose to delete them, which I would do by clicking the trash can right here. The last thing I'll share about Coggle is how I want to actually send it to my teacher if I wanted to do this for an assignment and grade it. Now you could have students take a screenshot. You could have students share this Coggle with your My Panthers email address or you could even have kids go back to that person where they went to share and if they scroll down a little bit you're going to notice there's an option to get a new link. So if I click on that, new link, there's going to be a link that shows up, a private link. If you have students copy that and then go into their email and write an email to you, to their teacher, so let's say they're sending it to their teacher at their My Panthers email address, they can just go ahead and paste that link directly into the email. When you get the email, you'll click on it, it'll open up, and you'll be able to see their Coggle. All right, so just a quick recap on all the great features of Coggle. It's great because kids can log in with their My Panthers Google ac account. Kids can manipulate lines, colors, and create really awesome mind maps. They can share it with one another so they can work on the same mind map at the same time collaboratively. And they can also send it to you as a link, a picture, or share it with your My Panthers email account.